Sean C. is a music reviewer and YouTuber who has been in the industry for quite some time now. Over the years, Sean has built a reputation for delivering quality content to his audience, but lately, he has been facing a major issue that is affecting his online presence. This issue comes in the form of a YouTube channel called Mojave, which has been ripping Sean's Twitch streams and posting them on YouTube before Sean gets the opportunity to edit down certain parts of the streams to post on his own YouTube channel. So I'm like, cool, whatever. I mean, it's going to be another fit check in a couple weeks. So that was really the point. Whatever, whatever. Um, I'm like, all right, cool. I see the video and I'm like, dog, there's no way he took the stream and he clipped it. And I didn't even make the video public. Like, if I don't make the video public, you shouldn't even you shouldn't even touch it. Like, why would I why would I why would I have to tell you that? That's the fourth strike. So that pissed me off because I'm like, that kind of ruined my whole little plot, my whole little plan, whatever. The f I don't care. Let's keep it moving. This is the fifth and final strike. This is the fifth and final strike and why he's not allowed to put anything else up outside of what I'm about to tell you. Let me let, let me let Cup of Crazy get that off real quick. I was referring to Mojave about doing too much. The fifth strike. A couple days ago, y'all saw me react to the Lil, the Lil Yachty album. Y'all seen me. Y'all seen me. And I said in one stream, not one stream. I said not in one stream, but but two streams. I told him, yo, do not post this until the middle of next week. I said, do not post this until the middle of next week. I told him that multiple times in the same stream. And then afterwards, I even told y'all before I ended the stream, I said, yo, I'm trying to work with my own little thing. I just got to be extra specific with Mojave. These are my exact words. I just got to be extra specific with Mojave because it's going to be certain shit that he might not get. So as long as I tell him verbatim, this is what you should or shouldn't do, he should be able to follow it. That same day that I'm about to post my video, nigga, come out, nigga, come, come to my DM. That's what I'm saying. I saw the, what, okay. Nigga come to my DM the day I'm supposed to post it. And he like, hold on, I'm about to read you exactly what the fuck this nigga said to me. I'm about to read you exactly what the fuck this nigga said to me. And this what, this what pissed me off. This what pissed me off. He said, yo, Sean, what time are you dropping your new vid? And immediately I got an attitude. Immediately. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what? What you mean? I'm like, wait, what do you mean? What time am I? Why Why would I tell you? Do, do I owe you when I'm po when I'm going to post my? What are you talking about? Regardless of when I'm a post, I told you not to post until middle of next week. It don't matter when the f I post. That's what's going on in my head. But like I said, I'm a cool nigga. I'm, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Right. What did I say? I said, I'm posting sometime today. You, I said, I'm posting sometime today. You can go live tomorrow. That's what I told him. So after that, I'm like, okay, a little weird, but all right, we're going to keep it pushing. The nigga replies to me and says, is tomorrow like 12 hours from now there? <clears throat> and in my head, I'm like, nigga, you have Google. Whatever the time is where you at, you can very easily Google the time frame and just search time zone in f***ing Detroit and compare it to whatever, whatever the bum f*** you are in Korea. I'm like, yeah, what, like, why, 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 why would I have to explain the time difference to you? Go look it up. Who gives a f***? And the niggas say, I, I replied to him, I said, no, not 12 hours from now, like, 24 hours from now. Tomorrow will be middle of next week. It's our month, my brother. What does that mean? <laughs> hey, shut the fuck up. I didn't even I didn't even peep that. Um so afterwards I'm like Alright, whatever. 
Afterwards, I'm like, all right, whatever. He's literally said Wednesday and a specific date I remember. I'm saying. And so I put out the video or whatever. And I'm like, all right, cool. You know, I finally got the video out. I think it was Tuesday. And I put the video up. I'm like, all right, whatever. Who gives, who gives a f I walk away. Like 20 minutes later or some f like that. When you and Mojave fight in. 20 minutes later, I see my reaction posted next to the video that I just posted. Right? Now, in common sense land, people, in common sense land, I've even noticed that this is something that Fantano might do every now and again, which I don't think he does cognizant of other content creators, but I think just so as not to interfere with other people's schedules, I think, and I could just be assuming, but I think oftentimes he posts at like a later time period so as not to like interfere with other people's sh Sometimes that's that's just how I feel. Shout out to all the in the chat. That's just how sure I feel. Looking mad kissable today on. That's just how I be feeling, right? Do I when I'll see some like, oh, this is a really late post. Why the fuck is he posting right now? That's what I'll be thinking. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, if I see there's someone putting something out at a specific time, I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna post at that particular time. If I know this person or I fuck with him and shit like that, so cool, whatever. I see this nigga post, and the video is right next to mine, and I'm like, I immediately, I'm like, no, 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 he's done. He's done. This is finished. This is finished. Because even if you do, even if you don't know the time difference, the fact that you see me post something, and you're like, yo, let me rip this, let me potentially rip the viewership from this audience to this one, and I'm a plug, let me, let me do that on some realistic I'm like, nah, there's no way this nigga just did that. The video is right next to mine, and I'm posted like, it's not even an hour out. The video's 20 minutes out, and he like, yeah, 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 I could take this. I could do that. No! I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I hit him back up afterwards, and I say, dog. You know I'm mad when I say dog. I don't ever I don't ever start a message off or start my sentence off with dog unless I'm genuinely upset. I said dog. 24 hours. I said dog. 24 hours. You just posted the same time. Post it tomorrow. I was ready to go live as soon as he did that shit and be like, "Yo, this nigga's done. He can't post none of my I'm about to delete his channel. I'm about to pack him up. I'm about to get him the fuck up out of here. He's finished. Nothing. That's what I was about to do. But then I was like, you know what? I'm still a chill nigga. I'm still a calm nigga. I'm still relaxing. I'm still chilling. So, going forward, after the fifth strike, I'm like, he's no longer allowed to put up my music reactions. He's no longer allowed to post my gameplay. He's no longer allowed to put out my my story times. He's no longer allowed to put out my my individual content, content that comes specifically from me. See, the thing that y'all don't realize that you might realize, actually, there's a couple. There, I won't call them plugs, but there's a couple of uh like pages on TikTok that post my. No, because I don't really have a problem with people posting my reaction to other people's videos. Because I don't own other people's videos. There's a lot of content creators that get like ass hurt about like, oh my, you took my, you took my reaction to another content creator's reaction. That's fucking corny as fuck. You don't own that video. So you shouldn't be mad if another nigga come by and rip the shit and post it. Like you can post it cool, but like you can't be mad if like, oh, if I react to somebody else's video and then I monetize it and I generate revenue off of the shit that they posted and they worked hard on. Um, you can't be mad when someone does the exact same and rips the fucking video. You didn't you didn't do you didn't do the video. It's not your video. So I don't really have a problem if niggas want to be like, okay, I'm a I'm a stream clip some of his uh reactions to YouTube videos, because nine times out of ten I don't own those unless I'm reacting to my own. But anytime I'm giving a take on something, anytime I'm reacting to music, anytime I'm playing a video game, anytime I'm doing a story time, anytime I'm having uh Content that comes specifically from me, Mojave is not allowed to post. The streets it. saying Mojave screen recording this for his channel. He right should. Now. He should. This is the last video that is individual content for me that he should post to his channel to let 
whatever generated, you know, audience that he has know that I'm not just barring him from posting me out of nowhere. This is he should put he should put this on his channel right now. Shout out Mojave. He should put this on right now. And let them know you shouldn't be victimizing yourself. I'm not coming out of nowhere with this. I gave you five chances, my nigga. Five. Normally I get niggas about the way for one. Normally. Normally I'm normally you out the way for one. But you should let them know right now that Sean isn't coming out of nowhere telling me that I can't post his content. This is why. The actions of Mojave have had a significant impact on Sean's online presence, as they have siphoned a lot of views from his YouTube channel. This means that many people who would have otherwise visited Sean's channel to watch his content are now going to Mojave instead, which is a major loss for Sean. Furthermore, the presence of the Mojave videos on YouTube has also messed with the search engine optimization when searching for Sean's name on YouTube. As a result, videos from the Mojave channel often appear before Sean's videos, which is likely to cause confusion among his followers and potential new subscribers. Sean has expressed his frustration with the situation, as it is not only affecting his online presence, but also impacting his livelihood. As a content creator, Sean depends on the views and engagement he gets from his videos to earn an income. The fact that Mojave is taking advantage of his hard work and stealing his audience is a major blow to him. Moreover, the time and effort that Sean puts into editing and refining his streams for his YouTube channel are now going to waste, as many people are simply watching the raw, unedited streams on Mojave's channel instead. The issue with Mojave is not only affecting Sean, but it also highlights a broader problem with the lack of proper copyright laws and protections in the digital age. With the rise of social media and online platforms, it has become increasingly easy for people to rip and repost content without giving credit or compensation to the original creators. This has resulted in many content creators losing out on the benefits of their hard work, and it is something that needs to be addressed. In response to the issue with Mojave, Sean has been advocating for better copyright laws and protections for content creators. He has taken to social media to raise awareness about the issue, and he has also been speaking out about the need for better policies that can help protect the rights of content creators. Moreover, Sean has also been reaching out to YouTube and other online platforms to ask for their help in addressing the issue. Unfortunately, despite Sean's efforts, the issue with Mojave continues to persist. This has led Sean to consider legal action against Mojave, as he believes that this is the only way to protect his rights and his livelihood. However, he is aware that pursuing legal action can be a long and expensive process, and it may not necessarily guarantee a favorable outcome. In conclusion, the actions of Mojave have had a major impact on Sean C's online presence as well as highlighting a broader problem with the lack of proper copyright laws and protections for content creators in the digital age. Sean has been advocating for better policies and protections, but the issue continues to persist. The situation serves as a reminder that more needs to be done to protect the rights of content creators and to ensure that they are properly compensated for their hard work and creativity.